The race to become flag bearer of the NPP for the 2024 general elections is on. Eight out of the 11 aspirants who picked nomination forms have now submitted and filed. Former Trades Minister Alan Tremating, Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, Former Agric Minister Dr. Ousefriya Kutu, Dr. Kunedwa Preku, also a former Trades Minister, and former Energy Minister Boachie Jaku have all filed to contest. On Wednesday, three more submitted their forms. Former General Secretary Kwame Japong, who contested the primaries in 2008, filed his nomination. The former press secretary to former President Kufo is campaigning on a new dawn mantra that is hinged on five pillars. Kwame Japong, who was accompanied by his wife and a few supporters, shared his vision for the party and country with the press after successfully filing his nomination at the NPP headquarters. My heart has been troubled over the direction of our country. We must accept that where we are now is not where we want to be. We cannot mislead ourselves with excitable slogans that lead us nowhere. Ghana is really at the crossroads, and what the country urgently needs now is a new dawn of astute political leadership with a vision that inspires hope in the youth and rekindles the faith of Ghanaians in our constitutional democracy. The new dawn is hinged on the following principles. One, the new dawn refers to a belief in small, lean government machinery that is efficient, effective, and primed to deliver to the aspirations and expectations of the Ghanaian people. The enforcement of law, order, and discipline coupled with a drastic penalty regime to deter potential offenders. The law should work in this country to stop corruption, to protect individual and property rights, ensuring compliance of all regulations, quality control, quality assurance in all aspects of our national life. Three, the new dawn also means a drastic reduction of the politicization of the civic, the civil and public services to restore meritocracy. It is time to bring an end to the wasteful seminars, workshops, fora, retreats, and move into an implementation mode. That's what the country requires. New Dawn means cutting waste in the public sector by ensuring that there is value for money in public procurement, therefore freeing vital resources to support economic empowerment of the youth through technical education, entrepreneurship and self-reliance. A private businessman and energy consultant, Kwajopoku, was the final person to submit his nomination on Wednesday. Accompanied by some supporters, Kwajopoku, who is relatively unknown in the race, expressed optimism about his chances after he successfully filed the documents. My chance is 100%. Amen. I said that you should have a dream. That when you have a dream, you should have the positive attitude to step out to fulfill your dream. Amen. If I did not have the positive attitude and the positive thinking to be successful, I would not have done this. So let's not look at the contest. Look, people keep saying that, oh, there are this person, there's this person. In this contest, everybody's a candidate. Nobody has a title. Okay, so I'm a candidate. Whoever you see in this process is a candidate. When that person comes here, they'll go through the same process that I am going through. So there are no this or there are no that in this process. Everybody is Mr. So so and so candidate or aspirant for the MPP leadership of the party. Before Kwajopoku filed his nomination, activities at the NPP headquarters was akin to a party rally. A massive crowd assembled amidst dancing and drumming in anticipation of the arrival of candidate Kennedy Japon, the member of parliament for Asin Central. <laughs> The numbers and chaos was similar to when Vice President Dr. Baumia filed his nomination last week. The cheers were louder when Kennedy Japong arrived.
The Asin Central MP was finally ushered into the building where he was received by the party's Director of Finance and Administration. Kennedy Japong addressed the media after presenting his files. I know the place is hot, but you've taken time patiently waiting for us to submit our forms. That's extremely kind of you. So once again, I say a big thank you. And I go by the I promise to go by the constitution of the party. If anything goes wrong to seek redress, I will not go outside the constitution to take the law to my own hands. So believe in me that I'm a true and true party man. And I will not do anything to sabotage the party. <laughs> Out of the 11 contestants, eight have now successfully filed their nominations to contest in the NPP's presidential primary slated for November this year. Three now remain. A former member of parliament for Mampong, Francis Adainimo, a former minister of railways, the Honorable Joe Gatti, and a former director of transport at the Jubilee House, Odeneho Nana Opong. They have up until June 24, this coming Saturday, to file their nominations. From the NPP headquarters here in Accra, my name is Charles Osukumi for City News.